Hello, my name is Ariana Arias. Um, this video is on this week's Blue Tech Week, um, and I will be focusing on ocean energy innovation. All right, I will be starting with Monesto, which is essentially an ocean kite. Um, it's marine energy technology called Deep Green, and the CEO is Martin Edlund. So as Martin Edland uh, put it, it is enabling renewable based load generation by flying subsea kites. All right, so essentially what it is, it's, um, it's a lightweight and recoverable design allows for cost effective installation and operating procedures uh, tethered to a seabed foundation. The deep green kite sweeps across the tide, converting it into energy. By flying faster than the tide, it amplifies the stream flow, which enhances the energy conversion and unlocks low flow streams inaccessible to other technologies. Uh, rudders and control systems control the flight, so when the tide turns, the deep green parks, uh, relaunching when the tidal flow uh, begins again. Uh, Minestro's kites can be installed in both microgrids or large-scale ocean energy farms. So some facts, um, its rated power is two times 100 uh, kilowatts. Uh, the water depth is 50 meters um, and it is grid connected. And if you are interested in this, um, I did source the link where um, you can go check out their website and learn more. So as Martin Elland um, explained during the panel, um, it unlocks a non-tapped energy source with global expansion potential. It enables plantable production, complementing unpredictable renewables, and offers customers low cost of energy. And in the background, you can see the photo of the kite and how it is um, the, the seabed foundation. You can see how it's um, tied down, and that's how it flows around in the deep blue ocean. All right, so moving right along to the second um, ocean energy innovation I'll be focusing on, it's called Core Power Ocean, and the CEO is uh, Patrick Moeller. So as Patrick Moeller explained during the panel, um, it's naturally transparent to storm waves. It has five times the energy output per ton of device. Uh, has low capital and operations cost, um, high average output, and it, using the ocean as the most effective solar battery on Earth. So a really cool aspect of the design behind the technology are these um, wave springs that you see on this photo, which maximize the um, energy absorption. Okay, so a little bit more of how it works. Um, core power ocean is inspired by the pumping principle of the human heart. Core power uses stored pressure to generate energy from waves in two directions. Uh, so the human heart uses stored hydraulic pressure to provide force for the uh, return stroke, thereby only requiring the muscles of the heart to pump in one direction. So in a similar way, core power uses a pretension system to pull the buoy downwards. It mimics the energy storage aspect of the human heart, where whereby the upward force of a wave swell pushes the buoy upwards while the stored pressure provides the restoring uh, force drives the buoy downwards. The results uh, in an equal energy production in both directions and a lightweight system that is naturally transparent unless actively controlled to match the wave climate. The core power converts energy from waves into electricity through the rise and fall as well as the back and forth motion of waves. A... Um, a buoy interacting with this wave motion drives a power takeoff uh, that converts the mechanical energy into electricity. The light composite 
A buoy is connected to the seabed through a power conversion module and a tension leg mooring system. In a conventional point observer, the buoy follows the motion of the waves. The co power, on the other hand, uses um, hand uses control technology to better average the motion of waves uh, by giving the oscillating motion optimal timing with each wave. I also linked the website on the uh, slide just in case you get more interested and want to check out the website. Okay, so moving along to the third uh, type of um, and uh, ocean energy innovation I wanted to focus on is SeaTrek. Um, the CEO is Yi Chao, who's also the founder, and it's an autonomous profiling flow powered by ocean temperature difference. Um, so I got this information on the SeaTrek.com website. Um, so Shanik Robotics, so their products reduce toxic battery waste and enable underwater drones to perform longer and more complex missions um, in regards to ocean energy stations. Um, the Office of Naval Research is supporting our, um, their efforts to develop underwater power stations to support defense, industry, and um, aquaculture. And then Polar Environment Research with support from NOAA and the Office of Naval Research, they're developing methods to extract energy from the extreme air-sea temperature difference found at high latitudes. Okay, so a little bit more of how the technology works. Um, so the PCM expansion results in pressure that can be captured and used to generate electricity. Seatrek is developing technologies to generate energy from both the solid to liquid and liquid to gas phase transitions. For the solid to liquid, for example, when PCMs experience temperature changes, they undergo a phase transition and change volume. This volume change will drive a motor through pressurized fluid, converting hydraulic energy into electricity. Um, during the warming phase, the contained working substance changes phase from solid to liquid, expands, and generates pressure that forces hydraulic oil through a generator to produce electrical energy. During the cooling phase, um, the working substance freezes and contracts.